Welcome to Wait Forward. Come on in and we'll take a look at DuckTales. You know, with the character designs of Scrooge, we went through weeks, if not a month or so, of trying to nail down the design of what Scrooge is going to look like, starting from a very Karl Barks look to, you know, something that's a lot more like the show. In the animation process of the game, we blocked out a time every single day to do an animation review because animation, um, animation for this game was one of the most important aspects that we spent uh, at least an hour every single day going over every single animation daily. I personally love Scrooge McDuck. He's my favorite animated character. Uh, was introduced to him in the Karl Barks comics by my sister back in like the uh, early, early 70s. So I've been following that for a long time. The TV show, DuckTales, that came about for me almost in, in the middle. As I was explaining to Austin when the, the project first came up, I'm like, well, I knew Scrooge as a Karl Barks character. Then the, um, when the TV show came about, I'm like, oh look, they're referencing Karl Barks comics. I would say all the, all the Scrooge assets in general had Karl Barks all written all over it. I mean, whenever I did anything, it always had the sincerity of Carl Barks. I'm really happy that um, you know Matt Bozon really educated me on Carl Barks, who he was, and how special, uh, how, how important it was to him, and uh, how important it is uh, to me that I know a lot about it. Before I even looked at the show, uh, I tried grabbing the mini comics of the can of Carl Barks and looking at his magic, which is really amazing. And hopefully, again, all that ingrained inside, and then watched the show. And, them both and hope to God that when it came out of his hands or the direction, or the you know, supervision that it came out sincere. We would we would uh, act out you know all the animations that needed to happen next. Uh, we would go over all the animations that were done in, in every single step of the process, whether it was a rough, whether it was a tie down or, or full color, and then to make sure that uh, everything uh, was proportionate and matched up and like linked up well to the animation before it. Like it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was always my dream to work at Disney like, as an animator, as a you know an a lead animator on a project. So this was kind of like my opportunity to <laughs> actually work on something that was really high caliber Disney quality art, and we, and we really ran with that. The biggest part I wanted to do here um, was that uh, you know idols they usually pop up and down, you know. Um, and in feature, especially in, uh, my teacher has always talked to me about making characters breathe. So I wanted to do a little bit of both. So I wanted Scrooge to breathe, you know? Because I mean, uh, in the game, and he's just a pixel and just stands there, so I figured this would be awesome. We're not going to make him pop up and down, but we're going to make him go... <sighs> Why not, you know, breathe some character, like life into these characters? I was very animated when I did this stuff. I pushed really hard for Magica and Blomgold to have a bigger role. That was really important to me. Um, it, it always bugged me in the NES game that they magically team up and you just play this end sequence that I couldn't understand why that was happening. Um, I wanted to give that a little more meaning. Even in the show, she was always so cool. She was like inspiring, but in a negative way, because she's an evil villain. But um, I just love her cackle, I love her, her movement, she's always so fluid. Even though she was like this essence of evil in a way, she was still very ladylike. The original game was very much a solo adventure with NPCs peppered here and there, so giving all of the um, shows, other characters, more of a chance to shine was pretty nifty. It's really great to see the nephews in particular have more to do. In the show and in the game too, I always like the nephews and Webby's designs because they're freaking adorable. One of the most important things for you know getting the animations to look right and like how Scrooge actually acts is you know how he interacts with his cane. So I literally went out and bought a cane that has a hook, which are not easy to find, believe it or not, so that I could act out scenes uh, over and over. And so you know going over with the animators, how does he hold his cane? How does he hold it when he's walking? How does he hold it when he's jumping? and acting things out for, you know, what does he do when he's standing around? We do what we call long idle. When the character is standing there for five seconds and not doing anything, well, you, you, you have a man, you have to do something fun. Well, what do we do? How does he play with his cane? And just by standing around and playing with the cane myself, we came up with ideas of, oh, we should make Scrooge do this, and this is fun. So literally walked around with the cane for a couple weeks and, and just sort of, you know, got into the feel of what it's like to be Scrooge. 
once we said DuckTales, you can't not say a moo-hoo afterwards, and that's what it's become for the rest of my life.